Hi you guys. Since my video on reptiles and fish with a little bit of mammal and the other things thrown in there has gone so well, I'm going to make one um, that extends onto that, kind of focusing more on the mammals and birds this time. And so, oh, sorry, my lipstick. <laughs> Um, and so I'm just going to be going over a few tips that I have with that because these are some lessons that can sometimes be a little bit more challenging. So first what I want to discuss is in my last one I did talk about making a Venn diagram as you go along and if you know that that is one of the projects they can choose at the end. And so not only do I did I do it with reptiles and fish but you can also do it with mammals and birds and so I just keep a whiteboard and we keep track as we go so they're both warm-blooded they do this and I do like to have like little pictures to help them remember so like I'll put a bird on one and then I'll grab a mammal for the other whatever that is and so it's just really fun to do that um, I just wanted to remind you about doing it that as you go along because it really does give a great resource for the kids to look back on as you ask them what is the difference between mammals and birds. They also talk about spines which something that is really helpful is to help them find their own spine. So I'll have them take their hand and feel their neck and I'll say look down do you feel the bones do you feel the bumps that's your spine and I'll usually have a picture of some bones or something that I can show them but I like to have them feel their bones and see mammals have spines. You are a mammal, you have a spine. And they always are like, oh, it feels weird. <laughs> Next, we talk about bones. And so I like to have just a, a tube or you can even roll a piece of paper up and make it hollow. And then you can show them, hollow, hollow. <laughs> and you can talk about birds may have a few things, but there is space between and that's what hollow is. Then you can talk about how mammals do not have hollow bones. So I just you can stuff paper or toilet paper and say, not hollow, and then hollow, and then <laughs> it's just funny sometimes all <laughs> you can play with it, make it fun. Anyways, really good illustration of hollow and not hollow. Next, in this you really are showing things that are the same and different. And so I usually will have um, just anything that you have that can be the same. So I'll be like, are these the same? Yes, these are the same. These markers are the same. Are these the same? They are both markers, but are they the same color? No, they are not the same color. And so you can discuss what's the same, what's different. I also use these when we discuss this and that. You can do that with anything that you have multiples of. But um, since I have so many markers, I just use those, but you could use anything. And then you're really able to show like this, this is a marker. <gasps> these are markers. And then I even have little animals. So like I'll grab like this is a bird. <gasps> and these are birds. But really showing the visual of this when it's close up or this <laughs> and these and that that and anyways you get the point one close one far too close or more and too far <laughs> and then you can do that this that these this there we go got there <laughs> just took a minute thanks for bearing with me um and then next is um so in this they talk about prepositions and so to and from I'll pretend to give them things. I'll say like oh, this strawberry or I'll, I'll use a cake too. I'll say this cake is from teacher Mary or from me to Linda or to whoever it is and we'll give each other things and say who it's to and who it's from but then I also like to use I have this map and so I'll say oh, Let's travel from, that's not really, most of my students are in Beijing, so that's close to it. From China, where do you want to go to? Do you want to see Teacher Mary? So then we'll say like, from China to America. And so we'll just draw and practice different ways with that. Now the other prepositions of in and out, I usually try to have a box with me. And so we'll say, this is in the box out of the box and so you can just practice prepositions that way. Next there is um, some vowel studies in this. It starts out with short U which my friend Andrea, I love how she teaches this. Um, she uses some sort of stuffed animal and it's like ugh, like you punch and you can punch your own stomach. Uh, uh. <laughs> 
Now, this unit also goes over bossy eat, which my friend Sarah has an amazing video or has an amazing way that I've I've shown in a video before. So I'll put that uh, video up here so you can watch that. But um, it's just basically the e. Um, What's your name? And so you can go see that one. That one's really fun. But so Bossy E is also in this unit. And then one of the last things is you talk about what a title page is. So I grab a book and I try and have it be some sort of animal because that's what we're discussing. And then I just show them that here's the book, title, the author, and then the first page is the title page. Title page. What do we see? the title and author. So we'll go over that and you can show a couple different examples if you want. I'll sometimes have them grab a book and find the title page. Hopefully these help you. If you have any tips on how to do mammals and birds, reptiles and fish, make sure to put them below. I'll also have the link to the other video if you would like to see that. Thank you so much you guys, you're amazing. Bye.